All right, fam. So I got my second cook going. Um, the coals are still hot and uh, I expect it to be that way for a while, honestly. Um, so what I did is I had some, a big piece of salmon in there. So um, what I've done is put just simply some salt, pepper, some Kinder's um, uh, seafood uh, blend on it just to give it that nice little, um, I guess, obey ish kind of red peppers, cayenne type of flake, not spicy, just something with a little punch in it. And then, uh, so besides the salt, pepper, and um, I added, because it's salmon, you get that syrupy flavor, I added some uh, sugar in the raw. And the reason I picked these because it is a huge um, crystal. So it's not something that will get readily absorbed, but it also will um, uh, melt slowly as opposed to combusting and causing it to burn. So that's a little trick there. So it took about two packets of sugar in the raw to get us there. So uh, we got a nice finish here. I just let it sit for a while covered so that it could, the osmosis could take place. So now, and I added some additional wood chips so I can get more smoke. And so now that I've taken care of that, I'm about to head out there so that I can put this on that and then we will be golden. So let's take a look at our other cook that we did. <laughs> hey, and look at that. Just, yeah. So um, that's what I'm looking at now. And I'm probably boop, going to throw some of these vegetables on there so that I can um, kind of char them up and get them cooked. And then we'll uh, chop them up and we can put them on top of that steak and we'll be good. So while I was inside preparing the uh, salmon, the uh, grill, the other charcoal must have dried out because then it went up to 500 degrees. I noticed from the distance that the needle was standing there at uh, high noon. So it tells me it's in the middle point, which is 500 degrees on this uh, thermometer. So what I've done is closed off my bottom damper and uh, close it completely on the top damper or the top uh, chimney vent, however you want to call that. So uh, it's going to bring that temperature back down. Uh, so I'm probably going to close this damper just a little bit tighter so that I can starve off that oxygen and uh, bring that temperature down because I don't want fish at 500 degrees. It'll cook fast, but uh, I want it to cook a little bit slower so it doesn't overcook too quickly. Um, so as you can see now, just by dropping the damper. It's already starting to uh, come down from that 500 degree mark. And it was holding <laughs> steady at 500 degrees. And you can actually feel the radiant heat coming off of the dome. Uh, I'm here, this is comfortable. It's not boiling the flesh or anything like that. And uh, yeah, it is hot to the touch, of course. Someone said that the handles get hot uh, in one of the reviews, but I'm holding this handle and it's warm right but it's not hot now if i touch this portion here it probably would burn me yeah now that's hot there but i mean this is cool to the touch this is no different than anything else i guess maybe the connectors connecting rods to the handle could be a danger so that would be something i'd be careful of but i mean this is this is cool to the touch so anyway uh gonna watch that temperature steady drop get it where I want to get it and then uh, we'll see what we got for the salmon throw it on salmon doesn't typically take a long time just want to render that fat out of the sand salmon so that it can be nice and moist probably my last cook so let's check on the salmon now that we've gotten everything stabilized oh yeah you see that fat starting to bubble up yes 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 so it's cooking from the outside in looks like so it's good 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 so i'll check on this in just a second and see where we are but that's positive let me get my thermometer always use the thermometer guys and uh we'll see how long we got on this cook all right everybody looking good here so if we check our thermometer here we're looking at about 127 so we're almost ready to pull this bad boy 122 on the fat side on the skinny side we're at about 140 so that side is pretty much cooked so what i'm gonna do is 
take a couple more attempts and I'm going to pull this bad boy, but I'm going to mark today as a success. Beautiful. Oh, look at the fat just dripping out of that sucker. Yeah.